Hi everyone, my name is Martin and welcome in another video tutorial. Today something different, today is a Lightroom tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do fantastic fashion look in Adobe Lightroom 5. As you probably know, if you follow my channel, I do not upload many Lightroom tutorials. I'm not really uh, good in Lightroom. I'm not a, a professional in Lightroom. I feel much more comfortable in Photoshop. But from time to time when I have lack of ideas or I'm preparing something different in Photoshop, so there is a process I'm working on something, there is a time to do something in Lightroom. And here is these days and probably maybe in the next few weeks um, I'm going to upload a few Lightroom tutorials because I have a few really nice simple ideas to do Lightroom tutorials. So as I said before, today I'm going to show you how to do this fantastic fashion look in Lightroom. That was the previous image and as you can see it's nothing, there is few things to, um, to fix and that's the final result just in few steps I'm going to show you how to do this fantastic effect. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to reset everything and I'm going to start from basic. If you familiarize yourself with Lightroom, you know we're going to start from basic. So the thing I'm always doing when I am uh, want to get kind of fashion look, I usually take down some temperature. I want, I like really fashion cold looks as you can see it looks really much better when we take down some temperature from the image as well as i'm going to add some magenta it works really good on this picture and it works for me in the most um, fashion picture when we take down some temperature it's really good to add just a little bit of magenta about exposure i have nothing to do because my image is quite uh, bright at the moment, but if your image is dark, I recommend you to add some exposure. About contrast, I don't add too much contrast. The reason is because later, when I'm going to add some details, my contrast is going to pop out on its own, so I'm not going to add too much contrast right now. The only one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take down shadows, I'm going to improve shadows, as you can see, I'm not going to bright it, but going to take it down to make my shadows a little bit darker I'm going to bring up some whites and make some parts darker just very simple ideas just to add some contrast as you can see our image is colder and has just a little bit more contrast but not too much so as I said before uh, my contrast is going to pop out after I add some clarity to this image course we have to be really careful with clarity I wouldn't recommend you to add more than 20 as you can see and uh, the contrast is much stronger so around 20 it's actually totally enough to get this fantastic look I'm going to add some vibrance uh, but usually on fashion images on images I retouch I take down saturation to get more this kind of wash out look. I really like this wash out look. It gives this really nice um, fashion look. After we finish basic, we can we can close this actually, so it won't bother us. About tone curve, I'm not really a huge fan of tone curve. Only one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to add some lights and bring up some darks just to, to of course, improve uh, some contrast on this image. But as you can see, we have to be careful to not add too much. And the really good thing we're going to work is split tuning. I have to tell a few words about this. Um, let's start with highlights. And best best thing to choose the proper color for your highlights it just start from the left side and move on the every lights on this kind of wash lights and check which one works the best for your image it works really nice with nice with bluish color but for highlights 
you can easily notice the best probably the best colors would be this kind of warm little orangey color I would say to not make this image too cold if we add too much bluish color it will be just very very cold this one would work okay but for me this kind of orangey color works totally fine and the same thing we can do of course with our shadows but as you can see the warm lines doesn't work so well and the best probably for shadows are cold color I'm going to add this very cold color but the effect is really impressive as you can see so if you actually think it's too much you can manipulate about saturation of this color you can bring up some warm color but I don't want this image to be too warm if this image is too too cold just take down um, some saturation from shadows I, I think it's quite okay right now it looks really nice when you compare this image I shouldn't show you all the time my previous image because now you see how the image is changing so it won't be so impressive at the end and of course details very impressive this image doesn't have such a great quality so when we bring up some sharpen as you can see our image becomes really really noisy but I really like uh, images which are sharpened so I add quite much sharpen here fantastic thing that noise reduction in Lightroom works really great so we add some noise reduction and this face actually looks quite smooth so the last thing I'm going to do in this um, from my basics is actually adding some vignette and I'm not adding some vignette to make kind of um, fun effect kind of uh, Instagram effect on something like this just adding this because it's fantastic like it's in fantastic way and chance uh, the shape of our model it enchants um, the main point of the image so I'm going to add quite much I would say midpoint quite early just over here so you can see we still have this really nice midpoint over here and huge roundness on this it has to be really nice round shape very soft feather not like this it will be horrible so I'm going to add very soft quite much and that would be it actually as you can see with these settings the vignette isn't really that strong and it looks really really good so we finished with this and to get this look even better I'm going to work just a little bit with brushes I'm going to zoom this image maybe at first a bit and pretty much it will be kind of dodging and burning I'm going to add some lights in the bright areas and I'm going to paint with dark on the dark areas and it will be kind of final touch to get this fantastic fashion look so let's start with new of course at first I'm going to paint with light so quite high exposure I'm not going to work with shadows and I will add some clarity why because when we paint on the eye area it will be really really nice effect As you can see, I was saying about quality of the image before. It's quite low quality. It doesn't matter. Maybe even I should add a little bit more. Still too soft. And of course, paint on the uh, on the hair. You can see it's really really good. Here on the neck a bit, maybe now it's all too strong. 
and especially important just a little bit on the bread over here and let's take about this fantastic looking legs it's all right and as you can see it brighten up this leg and improve them really really good It's going to take a while of course you can choose your own settings to make it suitable for for your own model take a look it's really really good so now let's choose new brush and now I'm going to paint into the dark areas in dark areas so take down exposure, take down highlights, take down shadows. Mm -hmm. As you can see, pretty much like dodging and burning. I'm going to this to do this very quickly as you can see it's not about lack of effort just I know it's not good idea to make tutorials too long so just do this fantastic contrast on the image And again, going down to legs. And all right, I think we are we are pretty much done. Maybe just add some nice highlights on the lips. Just to brighten them up. And that's that's all in this quick in this quick Lightroom retouching in this quick um, work how to get fashion look. That's how this image looked before before this um, uh, quick retouching, and that's how it looks right now. You have to say, as you can see, there wasn't much effort. It's not really complicated, just few simple steps and we can turn pretty much average looking uh, image into this nice stunning image which could be pretty much on fashion magazine. Thank you for watching and see you soon in the next video.